So I'll get Dr. Chen. That point. In terms of the LGA, is it, is it correct to say that it's not just the geography of the LGA, it's the population within it? So you can have a smaller population in a Sydney, L, uh, a smaller area in a Sydney LGA that has, for instance, 100,000 people. If the Wollongong LGA has 100,000 people, it's, it's still contained within that same number. Is that not the rationale behind the LGA movements? Look, the rules are in place to keep everybody safe. And we just ask people, the vast majority of people know what the rules are. The vast majority of people know what the risks are. And it's important for us not to get caught up in the weeds of an issue. What is really important for us is for people just to do the right thing. Please do the right thing. Uh, stay at home. And when you are leaving your home, because you have to, only do so assuming that you've got the disease or someone you're coming into contact with has the, the disease. But every day that our vaccination rates go up, that is an important weapon in dealing with this outbreak. But the most important weapon in dealing with this outbreak is for everybody to do the right thing. And we don't give you every example of when people are doing the wrong thing. But in some communities, where, you know, when there are illegal gatherings, when people flagrantly dis disrespect the rules, it is heartbreaking. It causes us heartbreak every day, every day to see examples of a number of people coming together, knowing they're doing the wrong thing and not caring they're doing the wrong thing. Can I just ask everybody to care? Don't care about uh, us or the broader community, but care about those closest to you. Care about your family, your friends, that you could be causing inordinate amounts of grief. And I just ask everybody to care about their loved ones, even if they don't care about the rest of us, even if they don't care about uh, those people they don't know, uh, care about those closest to you because you are risking their lives and you're risking uh, their livelihoods. But as far as the vast majority of citizens, please know I get that the vast majority want to do the right thing and are doing the right thing. And we are all sitting at home or, or, or really, really concerned that a number of people are choosing to continue to disregard the rules. Uh, but I am someone who always, always knows that at the end of this difficult time, there'll be a time again when we live freely, but that will take longer if people continue to do the wrong thing. And that's why police and ADF have more people on the ground than ever before to clamp down on people doing the wrong thing. And we don't apologise for having that strong presence. We don't apologise uh, for doing that, that going the next level because uh, the future uh, of our freedom relies on it. Dr. Our ability Chair. to get out of this quickly relies on it. Dr.